This year I've seen so much visible change on my natural hair just by using this particular thing so I'm going to mention how I used it and how I was able to achieve a thicker and longer hair just by doing this. Trust me when I say that if you use this particular thing your hair is not going to remain the same and it's so easy to make at home. So the first thing you're going to need is a plastic bowl. They are good to set that aside. Then what you're going to need next is moringa powder this has so much benefits i'm going to leave that on the screen for you to check out but trust me this is something that you will need then after your, your moringa powder what you're going to need is your castor oil or whatever form of hair growth oil that you use but for me i use castor oil you can also use different type of oils for this but I love to use castor oil because it has so much benefit and it helps in promoting hair growth. Then after that, this is going to be my carrier oil for this particular hair growth oil. You can use coconut oil, you can use whatever oil you want but it has so much benefit. Then the next thing you're going to need is chebe powder. This has so much benefit and Africans, they use this a lot to grain their hair long. I've seen so much videos on this and trust me, it works. Then what I'm going to also use is this product I got from a brand. It has so many ingredients. I'm going to list that on the screen, which it also helps in promoting hair growth. This is just an added thing I'm adding to this, my particular oil, but you do not need to do this. But if you want, if you have any oil laying around that has ingredients that you like, you can also add that to it. Then you're also going to need an applicator bottle. This is just to put your oil for you to be able to apply it. Then I'm also going to be applying adding rosemary to this particular herbal oil all the benefits of what i'm using is going to be listed on the screen so first off we're going to get our moringa powder i'm using a spoon i'm not using a spoonful but depending on the amount you're using then you're going to add accordingly i'm not i don't have specific measurements but i know what quantity i want so i add my ingredients according to the quantity that i want then when i'm done um, adding my dry ingredients i'm going to just make sure to mix that up then i go in with my carrier oil this is the olive oil then i just add the amount of oil that i want the oil like the portion to be because this is the carrier oil so whatever portion you want your oil to be that's the amount you add then i'm going in with my other oils like my castor oil after adding my castor oil i'm going to also add the other herbal oil i have from a brand this is from shine organics if they can find them on instagram i highly recommend this product it is very very good and it has a lot of ingredients that i also stand by so after doing that i'm just going to mix that up because the herbs tend to settle at the bottom so i'm just going to make sure i mix that up so that every product is infusing in each other so now this process is very important there are two ways to doing this but this is the first method on how i actually make my oil and how i actually infuse the herbs into the oil because you need to make sure that it's infused in it like you need all the nutrients the ingredients to be infused in <coughs> sorry and one way i do this is by adding hot water that's why i said using a plastic bowl is important so i get another plastic bowl and put my bowl into it then add hot water so what this is doing <coughs> oh my god my face is cracking but what this is doing is that it's helping the herbs to infuse into the oil so i also forgot to add my fenugreek because i've run out of fenugreek powder so i'm adding my seeds to it the reason why i'm adding the seeds to it now is because these seeds tend to open when they are in contact with any form of liquid so it's going to infuse into it so i'm just checking if the water is getting cold so if it's getting cold i switch it out like you have to be switching it out for like or say do this for three three to four times yeah i did this three to four times then after switching out out i go in with more hot water to just make sure that I infuse into the oil like i mentioned you do want to do this for three to four times then after doing that you're just going to be stirring your oil just to make sure that it doesn't settle down so after you're done doing this whole process what i do after this is that i just cover my oil and leave it overnight just to make sure it infused well into the product but just make sure you're stirring it as it's still in the hot water that's why i would say it just helps the product not to settle down and for it to be infusing and not just stay down so now that is that was yesterday and we're finally next day and you can see that my oil has finally infused in it you can see the color has changed and you can see that 
you notice when you see that color change it mostly comes from the moringa powder but when you see that color change to your oil you know that it has infused in so now i'm going to go in with a cap this is just like my wig cap this is why i used to sieve out the herbs because you do not want those herbs stuck in your hair so i'm just showing you my applicator bottle like i mentioned you need an applicator bottle if you don't have one just a bottle for you to preserve your oil in so i'm just going to put the wig cap in another bowl then i'm just going to pour all of that into the wig cap to sieve it Just make sure you get all the oil out and also just do this process until you've gotten everything out of the way and this is the final product you can see the color change and you can see that the herbs have infused into that oil and that's what i'm looking for i'm looking for the change in color because you want the color to change that's how you know that your herbs have been infused into it so i'm just going to transfer the oil into my applicator bottle because i love applying my oils on my hair because it's just easier using an applicator bottle for all of this so when i'm done putting that in the bottle i'm just going to cover that up and that's all your oil is ready it's very easy you can do this at home it doesn't take a lot of time so after doing this i'll show you guys how i use this that has helped me to thicken and grow my hair longer because there are ways to use this in your routine for that so the first way i'll be using my herbal oil is as a pre pull treatment or a pre shampoo treatment it's just basically the treatment or what you do before you actually go in with washing your hair i do this on a dry hair you need to make sure that your hair is dry and you do not apply the oil on your scalp you just apply it to the length of your hair what this does is that when you're doing your wash day or your um, shampooing your hair it doesn't strip your the moisture out of hair because you want to have some form of moisture even when you're washing your hair it's very very important that's why i recommend not using clarifying shampoos or using shampoos that contain sulfate because you do not want your hair to be stripped of its natural oils but if you're using a clarifying shampoo i highly suggest you doing this routine this has really helped my hair a lot like since i started doing like pre-shampoo treatment or a pre pull treatment i've seen so much difference to the length of my hair just to mention please do not apply this on your scalp you do not want to make your scalp like cause build ups or cause dirt on your hair because you're going to wash your hair so there's no need for you applying the um, herbal oil on your scalp what you just want to do is apply it to the length of your hair it really helps in keeping the moisture in and it also helps your hair like if, you're, if you notice that your hair is being dull or your hair is dull it also helps with that it also helps with that so that's why i always recommend you doing this and when you're done you go in with your cap and leave that in for 30 minutes before actually going in to wash your hair this is something that i've said doing and i've seen so much so much improvement in my hair the next way i've been using my herbal oil is combining it with my conditioner this is something that i didn't know about i recently found out about this and it makes so much sense to do this because if you're using your herbal oil and combining it with your conditioner you're going to lock in the moisture properties of your conditioner because your, this is not a living conditioner so you're just going to rinse it off but when you rinse it off you notice that your hair feels moisturized because oils are sealant so if you're use combining your oil with your conditioner is basically locking in the moisture on your hair so i've seen so much improvement just by doing this so i apply this on my hair after doing this then you just rinse it out and you notice that your hair feels so soft and feels amazing like 
this is something that i didn't know about and i just knew about it this year and it makes so much sense to do this so you need to try this out it's so good so this next step is when you're doing your protein treatment trust me if you're doing your protein treatment try this out this is amazing like i mentioned before oils are sealant so it locks in that moisture properties to your hair but combining it with your routine combining oil this herbal oil to your routine trust me it already has like herbs that help in promoting hair growth so when you're using it every step of your routine you're basically just helping your head like you're just locking in moisture in every step so applying this with your your protein treatment applying your herbal oil with your protein treatment trust me trust me guys you need to try this out it does like it makes so much difference so when i do this i just apply my oil because my protein treatment was already running out i need to get more of that but it was already running out so i applied it directly to the container but when you're doing this make sure that you remove the quantity that you want of your protein treatment before adding the oil so that it don't affect the consistency of your protein treatment just make sure you take the portion that you're using for your hair apply this everywhere on my hair after applying this i go in with my shower cap because this is a protein treatment and also i deep condition with my protein treatment it just helps to open up my hair cuticles or my hair shaft for the products to penetrate my hair shaft better especially if you have low porosity hair I'd highly recommend you doing this to open your cuticles up so that the product can penetrate better but trust me trust me you need to try this out i deep condition for like nine to ten minutes because i'm using a steam cap and after this your hair is going to feel amazing like using your herbal oil or any oil in general just helps to seal in that moisture and just makes you feel soft and amazing after so definitely try this so the next way i've been using my herbal oil is as a hot oil treatment like hot oil treatment has literally 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 changed my hair like if you don't know what hot oil treatment is just you basically warming up your oil first off and applying it to your hair so with this one you're going to apply it on your scalp you're going to apply it every single way of your hair it really helps in um, promoting hair growth because when you do your scalp massage it helps to improve the blood flow on your scalp and if your blood flow if you improve the blood flow on your scalp it's going to help in promoting hair growth and also doing a hot oil massage helps to remove dandruff like it gets rid of dandruff so if you're suffering from dandruff this is something that you want to do because your scalp health is very important for hair growth you need to create a good environment for hair growth it also helps to strengthen your hair and it thickens your hair guys if you're suffering from thin hair you need to try this it helps with thicken your hair and it also treats split ends if you know what split ends are they are not your friend they literally destroy and break your hair and it helps to prevent hair fall and prevent frizzy hair so this is something that you definitely need to try out so this is the last way i've been using my herbal oil so basically this is just my normal moisture routine i use it as a sealant if you notice in like you see a common pattern throughout this whole video i'm just basically using my herbal oil every step of the way in my hair treatment even if i forget a step i know that i have used it as a pre pro treatment or i've used it with my conditioner i've used it with my protein treatment so even if i skip a step at least some one way or the other i'm using my herbal oil in every routine just make sure that every single time you're doing your hair you're going in with your herbal oil this one is just my moisture routine i basically put my conditioners i put my treatments so i'm just locking in my moisture usually the last step to my routine so what i'm doing is i'm just detangling my hair because after doing this i always put my hair in a section so that's what i'm just going to mention so also just make sure that whenever you're using this oil you're not using it on a dry hair if it's not a treatment you're not using it on a dry hair if it's the last step of your routine make sure that you have a moist you have some form of moisture going on before actually using it because oils do not moisturize your hair they are sealants this is something that you should know because if you're just using it like that you're sealing in dryness to your hair and dry hair breaks so that's one thing that you should note dry hair breaks 
also just to add a bonus to this video i thought to mention that i've also recently started using cloves and rosemary to my hair this is more like it's not recent but i've been using it for close to a month or two months now and guys this is amazing this is like i've been hearing about it and i never really tried it but i've been intentional about adding it to my routine and it's something i'm still trying to incorporate in my routine and be consistent with it but i'm going to release a more detailed video on this but i thought to mention it because this has also contributed in thickening my hair and improving my hair growth so in case anybody wants to try this out let me know what you think but what i do is that i apply this directly to my scalp i do not apply this everywhere on my hair because i'm more focused on targeting hair growth because that's what it mainly does it helps in promoting hair growth and you getting a thicker hair like the hair that is growing out is a thicker hair so that's how you thicken your hair basically so it has really helped in that and i've seen so much improvement like um, i mentioned look out for a more detailed video on this because i did a challenge on this i use this consistently for close to three weeks and trust me the results i'm going to film the ending like i'm currently filming the ending of the video so just look out for that but this is something that i also wanted to mention because i didn't want to leave out on some things that i've also been doing so this has also contributed to my hair growth and also thickening my hair so that's all for this video let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm so happy filming actually releasing this video because i like to have results before actually releasing something so this is like you can see the changes to my hair I, I didn't even know that's why i like making videos because i don't even know when the changes happen that's why i always mention being patient with your hair is one way to get a longer hair so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe guys leave a comment if you have any questions i'll answer that and i'll see you guys in my next one that's the end of this video bye